So, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make pasta or how I make it so you can, you know, basically follow the Young Elm's secret recipe. Anyways, make sure to give the video a like before we get in. Subscribe and comment. So, yeah. So, the ingredients. Well, I'm going to be using, obviously, first for the sauce, the classical uh, tomato and basil. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's uh, flown in from Italy because, you know, you can see uh, Italy's map outline. But... Classical. Uh, this is really good. This is really good sauce. I recommend getting it. You can get it at your Costco. We get this from Costco. So, yeah, you can find this at your local Costco or maybe Superstore. I don't know. Uh, next is uh, this spaghetti I'm going to be using. Or the pasta, whatever. Is I'm using this type. Obviously, you can use whatever pasta you like. Whatever pasta you enjoy. I don't know. I just enjoy this one. Uh, this one's organic, by the way, too. It's organic. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Obviously, uh, first things first. Oh, yeah, also what you need is also... My bad, guys, my bad. Uh, you guys will definitely need olive oil. Now, olive oil, it helps the pasta from sticking. Um, and it just keeps it from sticking and stuff. And you'll need salt, too, to put in the water. And, obviously, uh, whatever you want to season it, that's your choice. But, yeah. But I'm gonna show you how I do mine personally. I'm hungry. There's nothing to eat at the house, but we got some pasta, so I'm gonna make it. I. When you're cooking, you gotta make sure everything's everything's organized. You know, you don't want to be dirty. You don't want to have your everything unorganized. Make sure you organize your working space. So yeah, and also make sure to wash your hands. Like, bro, nobody's gonna want to eat your food if you're not washing your hands. Don't be disgusting. So just make sure you wash your hands. Proper sanitary measures. Um. Make sure you're organized and uh, yeah, let's get to cooking. Now first things first, I put my, I put it up to about uh, six, in between six and eight, kind of close to high. Just make sure your pasta is boiling too. Uh, yeah, I don't even know, I might switch my pasta. I, I'm gonna just do this one. That one, I don't even know how to do. I don't know if it's supposed to be cooked definitely because of, uh, you know, the size and shit, but, uh, excuse my language. <sighs> but uh, I'm gonna be using this. Your typical pasta, spaghetti, you know. Damn, so the water's kind of boiling up as you can see, but yeah. I'm going to put this baby in. Also, make sure to put your olive oil in too, because this prevents it from sticking. Sticking is so annoying. If, if it sticks together, you know, it's just going to be horrible. So make sure you put a lot of uh, oil into that. I'm putting, I think it's olive oil. Yeah, I'm putting some olive oil into that. But yeah, it's going to help it. It's going to prevent it from sticking. That's what you want. Now I'm gonna put the salt, it's sea salt, it's uh, from Costco. Obviously you can see the trademark. But um, don't put too much in because if it's too salty, the whole thing's basically ruined, so. Now, if you guys are wondering about the pasta brand I was using, it's called Pasta Lori. Uh, uh, yeah, so um, I don't really know where else you can get this. I got this from a store, an international store. It's an African store, but yeah, we, we get our pasta from here. It, it comes with a big box. If you guys really want to know what it is, just comment in the section and I could probably give you, you know, location to the place. Or you could just maybe, maybe search it up. Maybe you can find, you know, local places that have it. But yeah. The pasta basically just collapsed. So now, I'm just going to put the thing over it. And yeah, everything seems so good. You know, everything's going strong. So yeah. <sighs> Let's hope this pasta came, comes out good. It's kind of bubbling up. Oh my god, it's getting really high. It's impressively high. But... Yeah, it's really hot right now. So I'm cooking the pasta as it's bubbling up. Now this is the type of temperature you want. You want to make sure, because pasta has to boil. All right, so the water has got really, really, really hot. It's starting to bubble up, as you can see. Um, make sure you always wash it too, because uh, if you put this on it and let it you know, it's pretty common sense that this thing is going to overflow, so make sure you don't do that. Now, I like to let a little, little steam out, just like that. Well, yeah, make sure you learn how to cook, because cooking is a very, very uh, important skill. You know, I know my mom's known people that actually starved, like, starved because they just didn't know how to cook. You know, cooking is a life skill. Everybody needs to know it, you know doesn't matter if you're planning to hire someone to do it in the future. It doesn't matter. You got to learn how to cook, man. At least learn how to cook basic things, man, like meat and stuff. But you just got to make sure you know how to cook because that is literally a life skill. 
Now I'm testing out the pasta a bit. It looks ready, but we don't know. If you, you actually can test it if it's uh, ready, if you throw it at a wall, and if it sticks, I think if it drops, it's ready. No, if it, I don't know. Just search it up, but I'm pretty sure if it sticks, it's ready. Yeah. It needs a little bit more cooking. Kind of noodly still. I mean, it's kind of hard still. Like just a little bit more cooking, it'll be good. But so far. It tastes good. Most pastas cook between eight to 12 minutes. Don't rely on the package on what it says. And I Googled that, by the way. To drain the pasta. We're gonna drain the pasta right now, so yeah. I I just drained the pasta. You should, if you, you should always have help with draining the pasta. Last thing you want is to get hurt. But, you know, Simply Young Ellen's is so strong, so I just picked it up and just splashed it in there. But, the pasta's really ready. It tastes really good. My, my dad gave me approval, so we're gonna make the sauce now. Here. But basically, I'll just stab a hole in it and then it comes off basically like butter. So I'm just do that. It's good to go. It came off really easy. Yeah, just put it in here. That's about good. Depends how much sauce you like on here. Next, we're gonna put some water. You gotta put some water into this. So this is basically, uh, this is the measurements. We're gonna put two cups in this because it's supposed to be, uh, I think, two fourths, but whatever. Hold up. We're just gonna use tap water. So here's our first. Dump it. Second. Dump. All right, that's good. It's looking nice. It's a little. It's bubbling a bit. It's actually looking nice. I put salt and pepper in. Yeah. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make some Young Elms pasta, Chef Elms in the house. Anyways, I cooked the, uh, make sure you always cook your pasta sauce, because you can actually get sick, apparently. And uh, make sure it's bubbling a lot, too. So yeah, I cooked my pasta sauce in there. It looks beautiful. Like, subscribe, and uh, comment in what you want to see next. Also, I'm working on the other two vids. I mean, I'm working on the other vid, why Canada is better than the USA. But I'll get that as soon as possible. Anyways, though, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Um, just make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.